They still speak of him in the cantinas, in the grasslands, and the ranches. Of one man, Gregorio Cortes! Where is Roman? I've had it with you! You stole my sorrow mare yesterday. <laughs> Look what I told you, Gregorio. This gringo has backed down on me. It is okay, Mayor. I will be right back. You stay right here. What is it? Hello, ma'am. It seems I have run out of ammunition for my weapons, and I was wondering if you had any. Actually, I do not have any more ammunition because my father took it to go find Gregorio Cortez. Would you like to come in, though? Meet my perro, Juan. May I pet your perro? Si, senor. Since you do not have any ammunition for me, can you please tell me the quickest way to get to the Rio Grande? Si, senor. You can take Greg Road all the way down to Lake Mead, make a left, and then you make a right on Vegas, and that should take you all the way to the Rio Grande. I am back, my mayor. Let us go. Cortez! Hey! Pablo? Paco! Efe! Jim! So! What's new? I kill many a gringo today. Ah, bueno, bueno, jefe. I should cuatro a gringo today. Yeah, ah, bueno, bueno. And Cortez? And I? I killed 3,000 gringos today. This is true. Ah, Cortez, Cortez. 
I bring uh, troubling news. Your mother, she is in jail. Cortez, Cortez, you are too easily trusting. Gordio Cortez, you're here by charge for murdering the third degree. And for slaughtering 3,764 gringos. If I may interject, your honors, they were only gringos. Please, sir, if I may. My brother, he is dead, and his life was taken mercilessly without second thought, so I took lives of others mercilessly without any second thought. This was for the defense of my brother, and for the defense of my own blood, my own honor, my own pride, and in my religion. I must raise up those who have died for me and from me. So it is not like I do not love those who I have killed. They are respectable men, even if they are green ghosts. So all I have to say is that my actions, my ruthless killings and ownings and torture... Gregorio Cortez pleaded his case to the jury for hours upon hours. But in the end, he concluded with these few remarks. It was all in self-defense. Bravo, senor, bravo. Let's go, amigo. So why are you in here, my friend? I have killed over 3,000 gringos. But I am not here for that. I am here for the sole reason of stealing one sorrow of man. Right this way, senorita. This is the jail. It is your choice. Mm. I want that one. This is the man you cannot have. He's too dangerous. Do you want me to bring my father into this? Okay, he's all yours. Gregorio was a free man, but his freedom was at the cost of his life. Gregorio Cortez, the man who gave hope to the hopeless, had been poisoned, and he died shortly afterwards. But his legend lives on. Wait, wait, okay, never mind.
recording. I'm recording. Oh, I was <laughs> trying to be dramatic. Oh. <laughs> Gregorio Cortez, you were brought here today for being charged with murder. <laughs> <laughs> Gregorio Cortez, you're here by charge for murder in the third degree. <laughs> please, please, if she, Victoria was shut up, I guess. <laughs> Gregorio Cortez, you're here by charge for murder in the third degree. And for. <laughs> My brother died. <laughs> I have killed you in that face. <laughs> I have killed over 3,000 Gringles in my lifetime. But I am here for the sole reason of this thing being. <laughs> <laughs> Your choice, please. <laughs> My son. <laughs> These. <laughs> <laughs> okay.